Hello everyone, I am at Mati Se, the Horse's Hoof Temple, or the Horse Hoof Temple. And this is here in Jiangye. You can see behind me here, wow, it's carved right out of the mountain. It's very interesting. Here in China, I see a lot of these kind of temples that are carved from, from the mountain and in grotto systems and things like this. This one actually comes from, it dates all the way back to the Yuan Dynasty. Uh, when the Mongols ruled China and so I mean that's that's pretty old just <laughs> just like everything else here in China and you can see I don't know if you can see that well but there is a there's quite a large Tibetan influence in this part of Gansu you can see the Tibetan language carved right here or not carved it's a painted mural and when you turn around you can see the beauty of this place and honestly, uh, I'd forgotten how beautiful Gansu could be. Gansu really can be quite a beautiful place. People forget that because most of Gansu is desert. But when you get up into these kinds of places, wow, you can, you can really see that this part of Gansu is, is so different. And not that the desert isn't beautiful. It, it actually is quite beautiful. Uh, but this is just a, a new and different kind of beauty than what you usually see and uh it's great look at the sky it's not a cloud in the sky the air is clear everything is good you can see the tibetan style stupas right there i think those are called stupas i'm not sure i don't know much about tibetan buddhism but wow look at this place it's it's truly remarkable what people can do when they are dedicated to something. In China, it's actually surprisingly common to find these kind of grotto sites where you've gone inside the mountain and people have carved Buddhas and things, painted murals and things like this one, his original right here, one of the original murals that was here. And there used to be Buddhas all through here and uh, paintings here and here. But most of that was destroyed during the Cultural Revolution, the Wenhua Da Ge Ming. Um, but some of this is still original. Uh, but whatever is still here has been significantly damaged. Um, but it's interesting to come to places like this, even though they are, like I said, they're not uncommon here in China, but it's still good to come here and see the differences between the different cave systems, like differences between here and Dunhuang. And just to see something you wouldn't see in Europe or in the USA or in Africa or something. This is, this is an Asian thing, this is a Chinese thing, these kind of sites. And they are very culturally and historically significant. And you can see people have put money up there. See money and the incense right there. Interesting. This is not a single temple with a single altar. There are a number of places to see, actually. There's Mati Hall, which protects and enshrines what is believed to be the imprint of a Chinese pegasus, or heavenly horse, which landed here long ago. And this is what the temple is named after. There's another hall, or cavern, which I showed you before. And the final part that people mainly see is the seven-floor grotto system, which is carved into the mountain and winds its way up to the very top. Here we go. All right, let's make the journey. It is so freaking cold in these caves. That's really a huge temperature difference. Outside, I'd say it's uh, maybe 28 or 30 Celsius. But inside, inside these caves, God, it's maybe, 12. <laughs> it's a huge difference. This is quite surreal, climbing up the side of a mountain just like this. Huh. Something I've never done before, or at least not in a while. Not since my Jishen. Well, there are a couple of smaller places that you can visit to get to know the history of this place. And while they don't offer the views or the same depth of awe that the main places do, they still provide a deep and vivid look into Chinese history and inspire you with the beauty that surrounds them. It's one of the most natural and beautiful places I've ever been, and I feel really lucky to 
have been able to go there. See you all next time.